Hello and good morning. We are back. Thanks for tuning in. I'm a bit wound up about this one, so stick with me on it. Today, I want to talk about, like in the title, you see there's CBDCs, and be careful what you all wish for. Right on cue, uh, right on cue, Bruna gets in the camera. <laughs> um, you'd think I have a dog whistle or something. Um, get down, big guy. Get down. Down. Okay, so today I, I want to talk about CBDCs and what they mean to you and I and who's behind them and all the rest of it. I did a video about a year ago, and I know uh, many of you probably haven't seen it. You could look it up, and we could maybe even post it up somewhere around over here about how I didn't think CBDCs would ever come to be. <clears throat> uh, and there was a lot of fundamental reasons as to why I thought that and why I still think that uh, to some degree. Although uh, they've gained a lot of uh, ground, I knew they would. I thought they would fail. Honestly, I think CBDCs will still fail. They're going to run into a wall, if you will, of technology. And this wall is going to be a big issue for them because the people at the very, very, very bottom, I keep talking about this all the time, but the very bottom, it's how do you get people in very small communities to work with digital currencies? It's not going to be easy to do. Uh, you're homeless. You're, I mean, all of these people, and people say, oh, no, they're just going to get a free phone. Where are they going to charge it? Where are they going to charge the phone? Like, they, okay, charging stations in every city and every, and every ghetto, I mean, around the world, <clears throat> there are some issues that are big issues. So <clears throat> my feeling on this whole thing is that I really believe that CBDCs could be, boy, I can't even believe this is coming out of my mouth, a good thing for banking global transactions. This is one of the reasons why I appreciate what Ripple's done. This is one of the things, one of the reasons why I may or may not have purchased some XRP in the past. This is why I think those things can and will be so very successful on a grassroots, ground level, hometown community transactionally. I don't think it works near as well. Not what the video is about. What I'm talking about is when I hear Miss Lagarde, Mister, is it a Miss? I, I'm not even sure what that is. Anyway, Miss Lagarde, I guess is what they refer to her, <clears throat> comes out and has a video like she did last week, and somebody sent it to me, and I was like, wow, that's bold. First of all, when somebody says to you, you ladies out there probably remember this one, or, or men too, right? Oh. Well, I, I promise we're going to get married in, in one to two years, 12 to 24 months, and we'll get married one to two years from now. I promise. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, what does that mean? What do, what do you mean a year or two? They, like, you're clearly not, you know, down to brass tacks if it's within 12 month time frame. These people have been dealing with two years, they say, well, the article said, two years of research background, who are they going to deal with, how are they going to get to do this thing. And they're also using these trigger words now, which is cryptocurrencies. They're now calling what they're going to create a cryptocurrency. Some degrees it could be, certain portions of it, I get it. But let's backtrack just a little bit and figure out who's actually capable of doing a two-year test with these people. I mean, not many, right? Ethereum is a mess right now. They got so many irons in the fire, they're not involved, right? Okay, you've got Ripple. I don't even know why they would go anywhere else because Ripple's the only one that has everything in play. All the banks are already aligned, all the ISOs, all the stuff that you and I talk about all the time that they've nailed down, ready to go. They're your leading candidate, clearly. 
Now, I know Italy was dealing with algo around for a while, and I, I know that they still are. There's a bunch of uh, nation states that are trying to use Cardano, and, and uh, but that's kind of more of a personal identification, who are you, not a monetary transaction uh, necessarily. And then you've also got, you got EOS who jumped in, I don't know, about three years ago and really didn't do much but they're they've kind of made some movement there's all the ones that you know about you know the polka dots polka dot made some big uh, movements in uh, eastern europe there's a lot of players that i don't think they're capable let's just look at it from what it is they're not capable of pulling that off my opinion okay i'm not the tech geek that a lot of people are in this industry but I will tell you, on a protocol level, there's only really one that stands right out in front and says, well, that's clearly Ripple. Ripple's done all this. This is what it was designed to do. This is what they wanted to do. This is what they've been talking about for over a decade. This is what's going to happen, right? We need to be careful with that because allowing them to transact government to government is still a very big long shot. Let's remember these people are swift. Okay, that's whole SWIFT system is what they want to retain. Let's remember what they did over the last two years to discredit themselves, in particular a little company that starts with R, Russia, and they, what they did, what the U.S. did was by stealing six, eight hundred billion dollars from these people and uh, you can say oh well it's wartime act or whatever you could call it whatever you want to call it but the bottom line is you stole their money they sold oil believed in your paper your bonds bought your bonds and now you have said those bonds through the swift system they have basically stolen their bonds and said that they're you know nearly a trillion dollars is worthless they don't get to have it and those are the same people that are going to create this new CBDC system, which is the SWIFT system. And that just doesn't sound to me like, well, I don't know, the BRICS nations are going to go along with it. I know they're involved in different ways with different aspects of these companies. And I know that what they're trying to do is create a true protocol that is nameless and countryless. It's one of the things that Ripple is fantastic at. Okay. We don't have a we don't have a, a gun in the fight. We're just in the middle guy in between. I love that, okay? But that trust barrier, I mean, how do you take that much money from one country and then give it to another country to buy weapons with to kill the people that you just stole the money from? Anyway, you've heard me talk about that before. More of that on my Patreon channel. I just don't trust these people at all. Let's, let's go back. They're a self-proclaimed, self-appointed council that is in charge of the monetary digits of the world. And none of them have ever had a job. I'm sorry, going to luncheons, talking about how to manipulate people of the planet, okay, and slapping each other on the back, flying on your jet, is not employment okay that's living off the system that's all that is right let's call it what it is i know i'm, I'm pretty wound up here today and I, I normally wouldn't do this on my saturday videos i'm going to end it positively you'll see these people are self-appointed ripoff artists that's what they are they they tell everybody in the world how important they are and then crowd into technology slowly, bad-mouthing it for the last past decade, and then proclaiming it was their idea all along. And now that she's using it, I saw her in a press conference actually use the word, yeah, we're embracing cryptocurrencies. Like, really? Wow. Like how far we've come. Do not be fooled by these people. Do not think that you're going to trade <clears throat> on a level basis with these people ever. That's not their intention. Let's remember, they don't have a job, but they got a lot of money. So how did they get that? Where did that come from? 
<laughs> well, there, there's your proof that you can't really, you know, any farther than you can throw them, if you know what I'm saying. This whole CBDC, and I've talked about this before, and this is the most important part of this video, is going to be a way for them to create this fake cash digit, which is all the cash digit is anyway that we know because it's not been back since 71 by gold. So it is just a fake confetti out of nowhere, right? They're now going to put a label of tokenization on it in which you're not going to know how many of them there are. And they're going to tell you that they can make as many as they feel like making of them because it's going to be completely centralized. What's more centralized than centralized? That's what this is going to be. Okay? And this, it's in the title, for God's sakes. That tells you, right, they're planning this. They've been planning it for a long time. I know. We're not dumb here. But they're planning to take control of the future of all crypto. And now, this is what I mean by that. They're going to say, okay, well, our CBDC is just as good as, as uh, XRP, or it's just as good as uh, Algorand, or it's just as good as uh, Solana or Bitcoin. Just trade those, those coins with our coins freely all you would like to do. It's going to be a one-way street. You're simply going to get their CBDCs, and you're going to give them your Bitcoin, or even Ethereum, or whatever it is. And they're going to end up with all the coins. This is plain as day, anybody that understands what the system is and the way it's going. Now, that's big, guys. Because I don't want to see you lose your true coin protocol, true purity of it, by some scam coin that they're going to create. And they're going to create billions or trillions, clearly trillions of them, to be able to manufacture or, or uh, manipulate the market in any way in which they want to do so to crush the price of your coin so that you'll trade them straight across because you have to pay your electrical bill. That's where they want to see it go. Clearly, that's what they want to see happen. Okay? Again, I didn't elect those people. You didn't elect those people. And yet, they have decided that they're the people that is going to change the world of money. Your labor is now being controlled by a bunch of people that pat each other on the back, self-proclaimed intelligence of the, of the planet, that we're, we're the only ones that's uh, smart enough to control all this for all of you idiots. This is not why I got into crypto. This is not why crypto exists. This is not decentralization. If you do not have a truly decentralized coin in your portfolio, and you can figure out watching my videos, a few of those that I really believe are. And personally, I believe in, I know, many of you don't. And that's okay if you don't. I'm okay with that. But if you don't have a few coins that are proof of work, then you don't own a truly decentralized coin. Bingo. There. I said it. That's the facts. Those people are going to be able to create new coin after new coin after new coin and tell you this is the coin you have to use and they're going to supplement it for the coin in which you own. That's clearly the only thing that they can do at this point. Okay? And then they're going to mandate and make it mandatory that you have to use CBDCs to pay your bills. When that day comes, you're going to want to be in a country that is a little bit more favorable towards some of the coins that I mentioned in the past. Okay? In particular, probably Bitcoin. There's going to be nations that are going to run solely on that. There's nations already adopting it now. There are many other coins. I was talking about that one. You're going to be able to trade the value of your, your holdings, your coins, for the value of assets or necessities in your life for the rest of your life. Let's remember, the value of all things denominated in fiat is declining. Okay? In other words, in value. In other words, all your coins are going up in value when it comes to anything that you're going to need the rest of your life. It's real simple. All you got to do is look around. And I 
talk about this all the time, but when I first bought my little ranch here that, you know, it would have taken 26 Bitcoin. Today it would take four. And the ranch has doubled in price. One day this ranch will be one Bitcoin. That, that's where real assets go. That's not where CBDC assets go. That's not where anybody, CBDC is simply going to allow these people to continually print the U.S. dollar and transact with it and inflate it to any level in which they want because there's absolutely no idea how many of them there are. They have no clue. They have no clue how many ounces of gold there are. They have no clue on how many ounces of gold come out of the ground each day. They don't have a clue. Okay, you have to have a clue. You have to have a ruler. You have to have a, a, a digital knowing of what you're dealing with, which is what I like about true cryptocurrencies. XRP, we know how many of there are. We know how many Cardano there are. And we know that those are being burned and they're being minused. We know how many coins there are out there. These are big picture items that a lot of people, oh yeah, well that's just how it is. But remember, this whole world is coming to what you and I own. I talk about this every video. The, it's a mudslide and it's creeping really slow, but it's gaining momentum. And that momentum is hitting the, hard, the steeper part of the hillside. And that's where we're at. And it's happening now, now, guys. Now, I just listened to an unbelievable seminar out of a, a guy from MIT um, and the protocols that they're building on the top 10 coins are going to blow your mind. The, like, what they're building on Bitcoin alone, <laughs> I had no idea. Like, I, I didn't even understand. I, I thought Bitcoin was just what Bitcoin is. And now, okay, it's the old dinosaur in the room and it's, there's nothing. Uh, no, that whole taproot thing and everything they're doing with it is blowing my, like, they're duplicating virtually every other protocol outside of Bitcoin, duplicating it and integrating it into Bitcoin. So in other words, whatever Solana's great technology may be, is going to be in the Bitcoin protocol. That's crazy. Okay? It's crazy what everybody's doing. They're just adopt. It's all open source, guys. Everybody's adopting everybody's tech and they're putting it into their own platforms. And it's, there's some massive announcements coming out um, for that particular project. Um, coming out uh, the day of the having, the week of the having. So, look forward to that. That's going to be crazy stuff. I just, I'm so wound up about this ECB thing because those people don't care about you. I don't care who they are. I, I really don't. And it, and I hear these people every day who send me, <laughs> I love you guys. You send me a text or you send me an email. Oh my God! Did you see what? Mr. Lagarde said, to, oh, sorry, uh, Lagarde said today, like, no, I didn't. And why would I listen to what they have to say? She's, anyway, I've said this before, you know, look up her criminal record. Like, hello, how is she able to have that position, right? She can only have that position because she's not elected, because nobody knows about her who she is. I'm not bagging on her. That's not my point of this video. What I'm trying to say is those are the people who are patting each other on the back, telling you that they're important and you're listening. Please don't listen to those people. Okay. I know they're going to make XRP number go up. I know that's a happy day for a lot of us. I got that. I'm really, really concerned that you're in bed with those people. If that's your dream in life. That scares me. That's not why I got into crypto. That's not why I believe the future of mankind and the transaction of your hard labor and efforts, okay, for redeeming some form of token, okay, or value that you can store the rest of your life so that you can, when you don't feel like working in the later times and periods of your days, you don't have to, okay? 
That's been taken from us with the monetary system, as you and I know. We need something that's true and honest and decentralized. And we're getting involved or getting in bed with the people who are the worst at centralization. Not why crypto was created. Not why white papers were written. That's all I'm really, really worried about. it. And I know, okay, great, man. You got your Ferrari and you got your big house on the hill. Well, oh, man, my XRP or my XLM went through the roof. I got rich. Great. And everybody after you is enslaved in that system. This is not what we want. That, that's not what you want. Trust me. I hope you get that. All right, guys. I love you guys. If you like this kind of content, uh, please like and subscribe. I, uh, it's amazing. My channel's blowing up, and I guess it's because everybody's really getting excited about this bull run. So am I. It's really here. Uh, all the numbers are showing it, and that's a good day for you and I. And I love that uh, for you as much as anything else. With that, guys, I am out. So I'm on the boat, and I meet this guy. And he swings by my boat, a little boat. And uh, so we get to talk. He's working. Uh, he works for a big boats like that. We don't like to uh, uh, pollute the ocean, obviously. But So we hire little boats to come pump out the heads. So we get to talk. It takes a while. It took probably an hour and a half of pumping there. So I get to talking to the guy. And so one of you guys called, and I was talking to, I can't remember who. And he said, I get off the phone, and he says, oh, so you're, uh, you're into that crypto scam, huh? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, this is fitting up. Where's my camera? I need to record this next 10 minutes. I need to record, right? I need to push play right now and record what this man is about to say to me. Yeah, they, you know, there's a, there's a whole scam, right? There's a scam in you. Yeah. Yeah, I know so many. Everybody I know lost money on crypto. I went, huh? Wow. Tell, so tell me more about it. Oh, it's a, it's just a big scam. It's just printed out of nothing. Oh. Oh, wow. So... What else you got? Well, it's a, you know, it's a ripoff. I go, oh, okay, so your deep dive research is it's a ripoff, it's a scam, and they're just going to take all my money. Yep. Yeah, that's it. I go, that's all you know about it. Yeah. Huh. Wow, man. And you're walking around telling people that advice? And that's all you know about crypto? Hmm. Wow. No wonder everybody's scared to death around this planet. Well, thankfully, I don't listen to people who pump crap for a living, sir. And you have a good day, sir. Love you all.